Hello everyone. It's been months. I have shared my e-content. My mom was sharing. I think it was helpful to you all. So in today's class, I'm going to share a beautiful content in Adobe Photoshop. So to create this kind of effect, we are going to use brush tool and we are going to use lots of layer mask techniques, stuffs like that. So I will teach you the method how to create the effect like this. You can use that method and create lots of effects and enjoy. So let's start. Let's see particle dispersion effect in Adobe Photoshop. Create this document size which I am showing here. Now let's place the image. Let me use this image. Now for this image, I am going to remove the background. For that, go to select and select subject. The process is going on now. Press Ctrl C, copy and Ctrl V to paste the image. Now let me adjust the image and place it. Use Ctrl T to scale the image and place it. Now let me duplicate the shortcut using Ctrl plus J. Now hide the image. Go to filter and press liquify option. It opens a new dialog box there. Select the wrap tool. You have to do just click and drag like this. Just click and drag. The process will be fast. So let me forward it. Just click and drag like this. And just give OK. Now select the layer, go to brush tool and create layer mask and select the soft round brush and give layer mask. Now you can press all plus backspace to erase this one or else select the black color and erase like this. Now select the above layer, unhide it. Now let's change the brush. Let me select this brush. It is a default brush. It's available in all Photoshop. Select the layer mask and click how I'm doing. You have to change it to white. The layer mask should be in white. After this, select the duplicate layer, the above layer and give layer mask. Change it to black. Now erase like this to create the dispersion effect. You can see there our effect is almost done. We got the effect. Now let, let's create the text. To create the text, press text tool. Now press Ctrl A to select overall text and change the color. Now let me press enter and bring the second name down and press space bar to move the text. Now let me scale it and change the color again. Now you can see there we got the full dispersion effect of an image. I hope the video was useful. Thank you.